so hi everyone today we will be learning how you can fine tune llama 3.2 vision that is a multi model lln into google collab using unsloth so this is a unique tutorial that unsloth has recently released that helps you to fine tune multi model llm that means they are able to understand both text and images as well so let's get started so first of all you need to pip install unsloth and then get the night latest nightly version of unsloth so as you can see here this is the command i would be sharing the link through this notebook so don't no need to worry about now here you can see that these are the different 4 bit models that are present that you can load from unsloth here you can see that for llama 3.211b vision 4 bit these are 4 bit quantized models you would require these quantized models because if you are running low on memory i think this would be a better choice to go else if you have enough hardware in terms of ram and gpu i think you can go with the full model as well now here you can see that we are loading the from fast vision model that we have imported here from unsloth we are loading 3.211b instruct and the 4 bit quantized model out of it as you can see reduces memory use so as you can see um, fine tuning is going on right now but still my ram is not full collab is not crashing so that's the reason and then here you can see that the model has been loaded now we would be getting the peft model configuration and we would be apply lora fine tuning so i have already covered how lora fine tuning works in my previous tutorials so you can see that so basically using lora fine tuning one advantage is that you don't need to train all the parameters in that case they would be fine tuning of some important parameters eventually and you would be saved on a lot of memory resources so if you don't know about lora i would suggest you to just go back once and read about lora in detail from my previous posts so here you can see that we are loading up different layers what we would be fine tuning false if not fine tuning vision layers if not fine tuning language layer so you can decide which layer i wish to fine tune also that's the best part and here is a lora config the r parameter the common dimension if you remember we break a metric in lora and then eventually we are fine tuning it separately so that's the common dimension four that has been taken here and these are other lora parameters that has been sent and all the comments you can see here that makes sense to you you don't need to use everything but i think i would suggest you to go with the default notebook for now to get started off once done you uh, in the unsloth example that the team has shared they are using the radiology mini data set so if you look into the data set here is one of the images so basically these are x ray images what i would say and then the caption with the image so there are two things present in uh, the data set for every pair there is an image and the caption provided with it panoramic radiography shows an osteolytic lesion in the right posterior maxilla so it's all biological terms you can use any other data set which has a text as the text explanation as well as the image so here you can see that now this would be the format as suggested that we would require to fine tune the model so we would be now converting the loaded data set for radiology that we have seen just now into a desired format so the desired format works in the role user and assistant format so if you are fine tuned before i think this is a very common format that gets used for fine tuning where you have a role user you define what the user says that is the input and then there is a role assistant what the model should output that is the ground truth that we provide so here you can see that we are providing a prompt first you are an expert radiographer describe accurately what you see in the image which will remain common for all the images and then for each sample we are adding the image as well so think it as if this is a prompt you are providing and then an image and the output would be the caption that we saw so the ground truth is a caption and instruction plus the image is the input that goes on which the fine tuning is happening now here we are reformatting the data set using this particular function that we have created and this is the final data set that has been prepared for fine tuning purposes as you can see role user content type text and then type image is this so in multi model llms there are two inputs that goes in one is a text and the image both together that is why you can see that we are first mentioning text and what is the text you are asking and then the image and in the second part as you can see the ground truth in the assistant case the i am expecting the assistant to output something like this panoramic radiography shows an osteolytic lesion 
now once we are done we can as you can see here enable for inferencing we are uh, starting the model to inferencing first and then we are preparing the tokenizer for the model so i think if you have worked with any sort of a transformer model as well tokenizer plays a very very important role so once you have prepared your tokenizer also we would start off with the sft trainer so sft trainer basically stands for a supervised fine tuning so supervised fine tuning because we have a label data set as you saw we have captions also available with us and here you can see some comments which mentions that eventually you can use different types of fine tuning as well dpu trainer is there sft trainer is there we would be talking a little more on unslot later videos now so we will be loading the model that we loaded in the first place if you remember the four bit quantized version using fast vision model and then we will be initiating the sft trainer function where we will be passing the model the tokenizer data collator is basically can be taken as a function which helps you to pre-process as well as to make batches of the data set so something sort of a pre-processing step sort of a place you can understand it then the data set then the sft config so basically this is the batch size uh, gradient accumulation steps basic how many after how many steps you should update the gradient warm-up steps is related to learning rate that for five warm steps you should be very smoothly we would be very briskly improving the learning rate maximum steps so basically these are all common parameters that get used in neural networks training as well floating point 16 b float point 16 logging is enabled optimizer is atom w8 bit decay rate so these are multiple parameters that you can see you can play around with them and i think if you want to skip some of them you can skip that as well now once done as you can see i have started the training and you can see the training loss the training loss is decreasing as you are moving ahead so that's the best part the best part is you are able to fine tune llama 3.2 vision model in free google collab tier so that's the best part but this is a four bit model do remember that so the size is uh if in general it's 32 bits so four bit would be about one eighth the size of the actual model so that's the best part and you won't be taking a great hit on the accuracy there would be a hit but not that big a hit so you would be able to fine tune and test out llama 3.2 vision fine tuning in google collab itself now here you can see there are some other functions for inferencing purposes once you have fine tuned you can play around with the model you can save the model and push it to online save as you can see you would be able to push it to the hugging face hub as we have discussed in previous videos as well so these are different things uh, some extra stuff is also present if you wish to skip you can skip that but i think till now yeah, in this particular tutorial we learned how you can load llama 3.2 4 bit quantized version get a multi model data set and then fine tune it using the pef trainer coming from unsloth so with this we'll be wrapping this up uh, eventually i hope you try out fine tuning llama 3.2 vision using unsloth unsloth is quite easy to use and i think one of my go to libraries if i wish to fine tune any llms thank you so much the notebook link is shared in the comments below thank you